All right, you guys, welcome back to Ask the Pros, joined by the professionals here in the studio, Jacob Morris. There is pro number one, mm-hmm. and Dr. Chad Wolner. You are a pro. Thank you. And yes, you waved on you. cue this time, too. Yes, I, he did. <laughs> Perfect. Like, he's getting more professional <laughs> that is by the episode. Getting better. Yeah, so today we're talking about personal injury marketing, which uh, we've got all of us collectively have a lot of experience with this. Um, and maybe by way of introducing this, um, I had a conversation with a gentleman out of Utah this week, and he was really interested in our um, click campaigns mm-hmm. and was wondering if we had that for personal injury. And I said, no. In fact, we don't do personal injury in, you know, on our platform, we don't do personal injury. And there's a reason for that, which by the end of this episode, you guys are going to totally understand. But um, personal injury marketing is totally, totally, totally doable. Yes. Okay. You guys have some some marketing for personal injury stuff here that might not be digital in a sense, but very effective. Yeah. We yeah. I mean it's it's um it's a mixture, it's a hybrid. I right. would say that's the best way of putting it. All right. So we'll talk about that. So um but I guess the first thing is is Jacob, why is it that, you know, in very simple terms, why don't we offer personal injury marketing inside of patient capture? It is expensive. That is the the number one reason. It just costs a ton of money. Um, it it because when you think about personal injury, it's not like people are googling or looking on at Facebook, especially. It's not like they're on there saying, "I'm about to get in a car accident." Maybe <laughs> I should, you know, but it's it's something that happens, and it's a very short window to grab them. Right. right? When you say it's expensive, let's let's clarify that just a little bit for them to understand. Yeah. It's expensive to do direct response yes, marketing direct for response. personal injury. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning, I put this out, and I'm supposed to get. Yeah. right now from yeah, that buying, what can yeah, I getting track leads, from that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what's expensive yeah and the reason why it's so expensive is your window of opportunity is extremely short right and there's a lot of people with much deeper wallets than most doctors have to grab that person right, right. well and 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 that's a good point that you got to understand too a lot of the attorneys that are competing for these cases it's worth it for them to spend a thousand two thousand three thousand five thousand dollars to get yep. a single patient because Unlike chiropractors and, and chiropractic clinics and even integrated clinics for that matter, even um, my, my guess is like the the best states, uh, Oregon, Washington, who have really, really good insurance reimbursements for personal injury, uh, the maximum for a really good case, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars we'll just say create you know, on the crazy high end or whatever. Um, you know, whereas a personal injury attorney could potentially stand to get an $80,000, $100,000 paycheck from a case, uh, depending upon the factors yeah. of, that have been involved. If that person sustained significant injury, had multiple surgeries, or had significant disability that, that wouldn't even be seen by a chiropractor. Yep, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. So, so, so in terms of the uh, cost per acquisition, they're far more willing and able to pay much higher than you can because it's worth more to them than it is to you. Yeah. Right. So, so. Um, I, I kind of want to back this up to individual platforms because I think it will help people watching. Hey, you know, Facebook has a method of delivery. People use it in a very specific way. And yep. same with Google, okay? And for, for reasons of simplicity, we're just going to keep on those two platforms, right? I mean, Google, YouTube, you could talk, you know. Um, but so Facebook, I consider, well, I call Facebook interruption-based marketing, yeah. right? Because you have passive people using it for whatever reason, and you show them an ad, okay? And you're hoping that that ad, you know, gets a direct response, okay? The problem is, is when you get in an accident, you don't go on Facebook. Right. Yeah. You know, you're like, oh, I wonder what Jacob's doing today. Oh, man. You know, you know that's not what, that's what the MO. <laughs> yeah. That was, a, oh, man, that was I, good acting. That was yeah, great. Yeah, hey, you know, professional actor. But you, you go on. You go on to Google. Google. Right. So, and there's no reason you shouldn't be able to do that. So on Google. All right. You're on Google. You're, you're in a pay-per-click campaign. Yep. And you are a Jedi at pay-per-click campaigns. Walk me through a typical personal injury pay-per-click campaign for chiropractors. 
I mean, well, you're going to be going after your your usual suspect keywords, right? So you're going to be people looking for whiplash. You're going to be looking for people who say, I was just in a car accident looking for a, a doctor specifically for dealing with car accidents. So you're going to be going after those keywords. But the problem is, is you are not the only person going after those keywords. Right. Right. You're, you can have, this goes back to kind of what we were talking about with the personal injury yeah. attorneys. Yeah. So, I mean, you can have, you're, you're going after those keywords, you're, and you're, you're hitting the exact person that you want to. But when you look at what's called the auction insights inside of Google and you're building out your campaign, you're also going to start seeing that local attorney or that regional attorney or the hospital or, you know, all these other people that all of a sudden your cost per clicks. And this is when you're building out these campaigns on pay-per-click. One of the things that you pay very close attention to is how much is that click going to cost me? More often than not, those cost per clicks are going to cost you $50, $60, $70 for one click. Right. And then when you think about a funnel the best performing funnel. I mean, you're going to be looking at like 30% conversion rates on that, right? So you're going to need nine clicks to get one conversion out of that, basically. One lead. One lead. That yeah. isn't necessarily going to turn into a patient for you, right? So right. you've got you to burn through a lot of cash to yeah. get that person to actually become a patient right. for you. And like Chad said, you know, even in the best states for, for these things, you might be breaking even at the end of the day, right? right with as much as you're spending. Right. right. So, so, I mean, really it's going to be expensive, right? So yep. we are not a, we're, we're, we're not in the company us together. We're not here just to like focus on the negative. So let's kind of segue over to, all right. So you want to be online or you want to, you want to go after that personal injury patient. Mm -hmm. What is the best way to do this then? Right. So um, I'm actually going to tee this over to you because I really like your, local approach to doing this. So I'm, I don't, I've not even prompted you for anything. How do you, what is your strategy for going after this type of patient? Well, and, and let me clarify. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Uh, let me kind of preface this and clarify by saying we don't position our clinic as a strictly personal injury clinic. Uh, we've done, I think a good job. We get a fair amount of, of, uh, uh, personal injury patients through our doors as a result of uh, either direct or indirectly from our, our marketing efforts. But um, I, I would say this, um, a couple things to consider. Uh, diversity in marketing is going to create a greater level of stability. And what I mean by diversity in your marketing is that you should have stuff that's both online mm -hmm. uh, in terms of content. Uh, and, and, I'll, and I'll unpack each of these in just a second. Uh, you should have good, solid relationships with various referral sources that could include attorneys, medical doctors, and other healthcare professionals. Um, and, uh, and then uh, over over the top of that, you know, on your website, making sure that you have really clear, uh, concise information on the website, because again, like you said, most of the people are going to be searching you rather than you reaching them, if that makes sense. And so that means that content on your website is very relevant and very right. very important. So, um, so, so the so the from from that standpoint, let's move a little bit closer in from a tactical standpoint. First and foremost, you got to be prepared to play the long game here. This is a long term strategy, absolutely. Um, and so, j just just it's it's one of those things where just accept it. You can either accept it, or you can fight against it for the next twelve months, and then in the next twelve months you can go back and revisit the same video that I just said, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you could be like, "Dang, uh, I would be in a completely different place had I accepted this uh, information and this advice from Dr. Wolner twelve months ago." Um, and so if you're just willing to say, you know what, for the next 12 months, I'm going to put my head down uh, with zero expectation of getting a personal injury patient in the door that day, you know, or that month or whatever, and just say, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, awesome content. And let me just give you guys, can I give them a little pro tip here as to how they can, yeah, can, yeah, can do this in a really cool way? See, the problem, we were talking about this b before the show, and this wasn't what, what queued us up, but we were, we were chatting about other stuff. Um, most docs, when they think about how do I get referrals from either attorneys, uh, medical doctors, or other, right. other, other healthcare professionals or other business owners or whatever, they typically look at it in terms of this. Okay. So, uh, Jacob is the local attorney here. We're just going to pretend. Hi, Jacob. Uh, I have this basket of goodies. This is me introducing myself and kind of bribing my way into your door. Uh, I'm a chiropractor and let me just 
uh, razzle dazzle you with how amazing I am. I've got all these initials behind my name. I can take better care of yeah. all of your uh, clients better than anyone else can. Oh, and by the way, I'm willing to refer back to you. Right? That's the best. That's the pitch. That's I mean that's, for, the, that's for, yeah. the typical pitch exactly you know minus the details but that's pretty much how it goes it, it's this two way street right um, we learned this a long time ago um, and I wouldn't by any means say that we've perfected it but uh, what what you're really wanting to do in that in this situation is. First off, understand you have to develop real relationships. That is not a real relationship. And maybe you've made that work, um, but typically, at least my experience has been when people come in that approach into our clinic, it just all of a sudden puts up you know, barriers and defenses there. And so the, the thing that you're looking for, the operative term is leverage. Yep. You're looking for leverage. That's the secret. And so let me tell you something very tactical and tangible and practical that is leverage is if you were willing to say for the next 12 months, and this is, a, again, I'm going to reiterate, it's a uh-huh. long play. It's a long play. But over the next 12 months, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a local show a local podcast or a local YouTube show or a local, yeah, um, a platform. Yeah. A platform, a local platform. And I'm going to go all in, you know, 80% of that is going to be dedicated to personal injury, helping educate the community all about personal injury. You start getting attention on that platform and you start getting, uh, you, you have an actual audience now. How much more easy is it going to be to get the personal injury attorneys to pay attention to you and to want to work right. with you and to, to basically get away from this type of a thing to yeah this is just this is chess this yes. is not checkers you yes. know this is thinking a move what happens after the first move yes you know and, and it's also the give value first correct this yep. this give value first concept that we all talk about seems so abstract to people but it's like no. Position yourself so you have something to offer to them. And you can't just offer them referrals. Right. You know, because then you're offering referrals to, okay, well, I've got three of them. How am I going to get enough referrals to, like, feed these people? And you're not going to – it's not going to work. Yeah. Right. So you have to have something to offer them that is not that, you know – that tit for tat exchange. You yes. know what I mean? Well, and we talk about this all the time too. It's also all about, and you know, hinted at it. It's, it's all about positioning, right? Yeah. If you have put that legwork in where now you are the local expert in your area on yeah. personal injury, yeah. the, the attorneys, the doctors, they're knocking on your door, not you knocking on Correct. theirs, right? Cause you have the position now yeah. as yeah. being the authority. Yeah. I heard, I heard Mark Cuban say one time, he said, what is the mark of a good business? It's so stupid, but it's so true. He goes, whether or not it has customers. Right. <laughs> and it's like, oh, uh, uh, okay. It's the same thing. Do you have an audience? Yeah. Now you have something to offer. Yeah. yeah. You know and, what I mean? And, and, and so this is this has been something that, that we've been doing at our clinic that's been so far. And we're, and we're relatively new to this particular aspect. Uh, specifically, we have a podcast, but we've been focusing as of late a lot on the local. And not just with attorneys, but we've been interviewing local healthcare professionals, tapping into their audiences and using that as a, as a really powerful uh, tactic and platform. But the other thing that we've always done fairly early on in practice if we is, is that we have created really, really good um, success story testimonial videos that are very right. emotional, that are very uh, well done ar- artistically speaking. And so again, if you're, uh, if you're uh, looking to play the long game, what I would say is, okay, so not only are we going to build our platform, but on top of that, what we're going to do is once a month or twice a month, we're going to look for some of our personal injury cases that we've got um, and right. we're going to start creating success story videos. And then what we could do is, I mean, those, those attorneys, they need content too. Right. Yeah. Right. You know? yeah, 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 exactly. And so, and so you do that and, and then what you could do is let's say you hire Jacob uh, and these guys to run video views campaigns. Now, yep. again, this is not direct response, but what Facebook can do for you, which is really cool is when you start engaging in, in video views or, or CPM stuff like that, yep. um, which for those, I'm assuming they know CPM cost per 1000 impressions, right? Is, is this M is like the Ro- is it the Roman millennia. Yeah, I think millennia, it is. Yeah, is it yeah. millennia? Millennia, which is like a, th- a anyways, thousand, yeah. thousand impressions. But, but the point is, is that you can literally use Facebook now as a digital billboard, right? Yeah. So instead of instead of paying, you know, uh, you know, a thousand bucks a month for a billboard out on the side of the highway, you can have way better strategic targeting with your videos uh, and 
I mean, what could you get for even in a crowded city? What could you get for a thousand oh, bucks can, on video views? A thousand bucks. On, well, usually your video views right now are costing about thirteen cents on Facebook. About twelve, thirteen cents per ten seconds, right? That's so Facebook changed up their the way they do their pricing on a ten full ten second view. That's a lot of attention to capture. On well, Facebook. and again, consider yeah. that, that in, that's a huge amount. What's so. the average time span? And I know you'd have to. I don't know if you know the studies on this or whatever. I don't even know. But like, what's the time? Frame Ask him. That, I bet you he knows. <laughs> that, well, I'm talking about how much time do people see a billboard for? Oh, less, oh, that l- I don't less know. than yeah. less than ten seconds, unless it's at a stoplight. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so billboard marketing. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, but, really, all this stuff. Where uh, I heard Sam Ovens once say, he said, the only reason that you know your parents love you is because they've served you millions of impressions. Yeah, right. Right. And, you know, that, that you know, we're wired to remember faces, mm-hmm. to remember. So if you have the ability to get in front of people and then if you can keep their attention for 10 seconds, yeah, all the better. So uh, the next thing is, is like you have a program coming out for video and I didn't intend to, to promote this, but I yeah. would say... Um, Video and SEO are your play. If I were, if we were just to like put a finger on it, if you want to be like pulling in the big bucks with PI patients, okay, yep. in the future, it's not a thing that's going to happen to you in 12 months. However, so long as you anticipate, you know, being in business, the two, three, four, you and more, yep. you should start today focusing on video and SEO. Make the commitment right. to just be a content machine. Yes. And 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 the, the quick plug I will make for this course is this course is not what I think a lot of docs might think it is in yeah. the sense that it's not about how you, the doc, are going to do all this yourself, but rather how you can leverage technology, outsourcing, and other tools to be able to have a lot of the legwork done for you. Well, yeah, and that's the thing is like it's easy to do, but more so it's like, okay, it's easy to do, but what do I do? Right, right. You have that all. So yep. I'll link that in the description below. There will be a URL in the link for, for all that. They can get information yep. on that. But cool. um, I think understanding the power of video, SEO. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know a lot about SEO. Just give a quick. And we use NetFusion 1. Is that who we use? Uh, yeah. Yep. We use NetFusion 1 for okay. our SEO. And I'll link them below as well because they do a ton of local um, if you guys wanted to know more about that. But maybe give a little. So SEO, we've got video which is huge in SEO, but maybe yeah. just like some tips. I mean, the biggest tip to have for SEO is if you spend the 40 bucks, go to Moz and get your directory squared away. I mean, if, yeah. if you're going to do one thing with SEO yourself before you hire a professional, it's just get your directory squared away because that's what, um, as far as local search is going to be concerned, that's going to be a huge indicator for Google. And if you get, there's about 170 directories that Google actually will look at and Moz will make sure that you're correct in all of them you'll see your ranking jump up just by doing that single thing all by itself. Well, and I would say, um, you know, you know how you feel when you go to the mechanic and you're like, oh, geez, what's this going to cost me? Right. And, and, and whatever he says, yeah, it's the uh, rotor and the girder. Oh, geez. You know, whatever. You have no idea. Right. And it feels the same way with SEO guys. And so I would say, you know, if, first of all, know enough to be dangerous. That way you know yes. you're not getting taken. Yep. Okay. And second of all, really, the the guys at NetFusion One, they're they're actually they're solid. here. They're, they're solid. solid. They're here local, so you know they're they're folks that that we know here in Boise. They do a really good job. They focus on local, and that's what you need. You need yeah. somebody, not an SEO like guru for like nationwide stuff. You need a local yeah. SEO expert. So it's a, yeah. it's worth a conversation. And this is too going back to what Chad with the the long game concept is you have to be willing, especially with SEO to put in the long game. It's not going to be a direct response. You're going to get an ROI next right. month, right? As a matter of fact, you're not going to get an ROI probably for six months or later down the road from, from right. search engines. And it's probably going to cost you, you know, even if you were to not go NetFusion, you go with, you know, a local guy in your area, most SEO is going to cost you between 1000 to 2000 bucks a month, right? Right. So keeping in that in mind, it's going to pay out huge dividends. Because again, remember- In the long run. In the long yeah. run. Because remember what we were talking on a pay-per-click side. Right to go after that exact same keyword, where the the attorneys are going nuts on, you're looking at sixty dollars a click. Right, right. Well, SEO is 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 going to be free once you hit that point. And the thing about SEO is it's a whole lot easier to maintain than it is to achieve. Right. So once you yeah, good point. W- once you hit that po- that point in the search engine result where you're one of the top results in there, it's going to cost you a whole lot less 
to maintain that slot. That's the long that game, man. Somebody's paying a whole bunch of money on a pay per right. side to, to get and, on. And, and that's where you can really outspend people because now you could take what you were previously allocating and dump, you know, double up, you yeah. know, double down, and, I guess I should say. And then the other piece I would say is people are naturally going to default to where's the easy switch. There's not an easy switch. Yeah. No, so not stop, with this one. So, yeah. so, stop, so stop that, okay? That'll give you an immense calming effect because you know, okay, cool. I don't need to rush this. I need to create consistent. That's one of the things you got to be is consistent. Yeah. You have got to be consistent. You can't just blitz content for a week and then stop for a month. Like, nope. that will that will flag Google quicker than anything else. So you got to be consistent. Well, and it's not even just flagging Google. It's your audience too, right? Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, if you, let's say you're, you're running Facebook video ads or YouTube ads, right? And you've been running this video. You've done it for, for two weeks. And then you stop running it for a month or you stop running it for a couple of weeks. Your audience is going to is going to forget about you. I mean, if you think Absolutely. about billboard advertising and you wonder why you drive by the same billboard over and over and over for months on end, you're like, why does this guy keep putting this billboard out there? Yeah, it's because when you actually need them, you're going to, oh, what's that billboard I looked at? Right. Uh, right. If you stop putting your video ads out there, you stop putting out your content. They're going to start forgetting about you. One yeah. call. That's all. Right. Yeah. That's our local. You know, that's the local guy here. Yeah. So uh, anyway, thank you guys both. Uh, hopefully this has been really helpful and useful for you guys. Uh, sometimes these Ask the Pro things are not like, hey, here's the magic switch, because a lot of times that's not how these things work. But there are goals to be transparent, to be honest. Um, notes and information, all that kind of links and stuff are in the description below. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.